Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect Visual Studio Code with MySQL database. But first, you need to install MySQL in, in your system, okay? So for that, I will open the Google Chrome browser and in the search bar, I will type MySQL download. And then I'm going to click this link. From here, I'm going to go here and I will click this MySQL community download and I will go here MySQL installer for Windows and then I'm going to pick the version so I'm, I will select the latest version window is is uh, my operating system is Windows so I will click this download the second one okay then I'm going to click no thanks just start download okay this is going to start the download process so I already have this uh, file in my system so i'm going to cancel the download process and i will open the file which i have already downloaded click yes and click yes and then it is going to start your your uh, installation process so i will click custom next i will okay this one i will install this one okay now from application i'm going to pick this workbench okay and i will just select this router okay now i'm going to install only these three products server workbench and router click next okay this is where it it will be installed click next yes Okay, these three products will be installed in my system. Okay, this is going to, uh, this is, this will take some time. You have to wait until this is done and dusted. Okay, click next. And click next. Okay, next. Next. MySQL root password. So I will set the root password. So admin, I will set admin. Repeat password, my password is admin. Okay. Click next. Okay, this is going to be the name of my service, MySQL 80. Click next. Okay, click next and execute. okay click finish next and finish next okay finish okay now i'm going to open the mysql workbench open the mysql workbench uh, localhost okay uh, now i'm going to create a project for myself okay just create a project uh, sorry create a database create database and the name of my database is going to be project project so this is how you're going to create a database so project database has been created just refresh it okay look database project has been created now i'm going to open the visual studio code and I will start connecting it with this MySQL database. Okay, now for that you have to install few extensions. So the first extension is MySQL. Okay, MySQL, this one. You have to install this extension. The second, it has been installed. The second extension I would recommend is the code runner extension okay it is going to help you to run uh, the code okay this one so look i have already installed so i'm not going to ins uh, install it again okay now the third one i'm i would recommend is sql tools now search the extension here sql tools enter uh, let me just check SQL tools it has to be there shouldn't be any space 
okay sql tools this one install it has been installed very quickly then i'm going to install this sql tools mysql slash maria db driver okay i have to install the driver as well copy and paste it over here and press enter okay this one sql tools mysql install okay it has been installed okay sql tool go to sql tool okay you have to create a new connection now i'm going to show you how to create a new connection add a connection okay i will choose mysql okay and the connection name is going to be mysql connection okay you can set uh, whatever you want mysql connection okay now afterwards server address is going to be localhost okay fine then the database so database is going to be project I will set project as my database user is going to be root user is root so root is the username password is going to be okay okay uh, driver credentials I'm going to set it as it is okay now save connection now it will ask me a password okay now look uh, connect now let me just connect now and I think it will require a password it is asking me a password okay user is root and I have to specify a password so the password is admin which I have just set while installing my SQL press enter okay look my SQL connection this has been is this uh, the connection has been established look the database project i have created this database project uh, table there is nothing in, in in the in the database okay now i am going to create an sql file okay just create an sql file and i will run few commands create table commands okay statements i will run this uh, statement create table user so this is going to create a table which is called a user user table okay now in order to run this run on an active connection this is my active connection run look table has been created okay fine now close now next let me just run it again let's see what error i will get look table user already exists that is why it is giving me this error now let me just uh, execute this part of my query insert statement so i want to insert some data in my table okay now run okay three rows affected now let me just query my table okay let me just close it from here select star from users so this is how you're going to run your sql query now run on active connection look user id one two three alice bob charlie last name okay email etc so this is how you establish connection with mysql database and I hope you have gone through the process of uh, connecting Visual Studio Code with MySQL database. Thank you so much and have a great learning.